Hello arty people, I wanted to show you guys something I painted recently. This is the cover of a food recipe binder that I keep and um, I kind of wanted to elaborate more on that because I think everyone should keep one of these. Um, but basically what this thing is, is it's pretty self-explanatory in the name recipe food binder. Um, it's a binder that I keep some clear pocket sleeves in that I can write down recipes and, um, you know, I can keep adding them or change them around and stuff. Now, the reason I keep one and the reason I think everyone should keep one is because it gets kind of hard to remember um, different recipes and stuff and a lot of the time we revert to googling online um, a recipe and if you do that um, maybe you have then you you'll know that out, out there on the internet when you are searching a recipe you will encounter a food blog and it's very frustrating to load a recipe on your phone on a food blog when it keeps regenerating ads over and over you are trying to scroll down just to see the ingredients list and it just it just keeps filling up with ads and it, it's very annoying um so that's why i decided to start writing them down um and also also because my gram um sent me some recipes once and like she wrote them down on index cards and i wanted to preserve like her handwriting and and um, the recipes so that's why I actually got this little half size one initially because I could stack three index cards taped together in one sleeve but um, I'll tell you why later I don't recommend this size I think you should get a different size if you do end up making one of these but uh, back to the point about the food blogs uh, <laughs> apparently other blogs or websites do this too um because I realized when I was talking to my brother-in-law and he mentioned oh it's like navigating a video game site where you're you're trying to find the answer to something but they just keep writing random generic stuff that you already know like this game is about this and this is what you do in this game but you're really just trying to search for one answer that they titled the at the head of the you know at the top and you're trying to find what they actually advertised that they were going to tell you how to do and I was like wow that's exactly how food blogs are they they fill it with as much filler as they can so basically anything that isn't the recipe and I'm sure you've seen memes about that I've seen memes about um you know like the, the one about the person that's like on 9-11 you know and it's 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 a food blog like they they try so hard to fill it with anything because really all the content there is is just you know the the recipe right so they they want to fill it out as much as possible so that they can put more ads in there um which you know is the that's the hustle that's the grind <laughs> they got to do what they got to do but if you are making something frequently like I do like I'll I used to be like you know I needed a specific cookie recipe that used oats that I, I used all the time and so I I had to write that down because why was I googling it every single time you know, shuffling through the different the different websites just to find the one that I needed and then having to you know, navigate that was the particular food blog. It gets annoying. So yeah, I definitely definitely recommend writing this stuff down. And I used to rely a lot on screenshots too. Like I would just have a backlog of screenshots of recipes that I thought I would go back to. But then I it would just be faster to just Google it than to find the screenshot. So obviously this is a better solution to that. But back to what I was saying about the size of this thing. 
um, I was using a miniature binder that I think they sold at Dollar Tree for a while, like forever ago. These were, this was like a really popular type of mini binder. So I had one of these, um, and I don't even know if, how hard or easy it is to find the sleeves. I haven't run out yet, so I don't even know if they sell these things anymore or <laughs> if, they, if I will be able to find the sleeves. But either way, I recommend just using the basic eight and a half by 11 size, you know, three, three ring binder. Um, and a big reason for that is one, you could just print out recipes. You don't need to write them by hand like I do. Um, you could just copy and paste all the information from all the food blogs you want. And, you know, even I would even put a little picture on there because when you're shuffling through your binder, um, it'd just be easier. They'll, they'll stand out to you if you have the picture of what it looks like, um, especially if you're looking to use certain ingredients. Like, let's say, oh, you have you have some chicken, you don't know what to do with it, you can look, just look at the pictures and it'll pop out at you, you know what I mean? But um, also, they make three ring binders that have a, like a plastic sleeve in the front, and I think I have an example I can um, post a picture of, of a uh, Pokemon binder I made a long time ago when my husband had like a really brief Pokemon phase, but it was a, a binder that had a plastic sleeve in the front, so I was able to make him a custom illustration to just slide in there. So if you got a uh, three-ring binder with a plastic sleeve in the front, you could do any picture you wanted in the front. You wouldn't have to do this ridiculous painting like I'm doing now. <laughs> and... Um, I feel like uh, obviously, you know, Posca pens or something would would have worked way better for me here, you know, and I did the acrylic paint, which is it can be scraped off easily off of this material. And also that the pen that I used for the little food illustrations just kept smudging over and over. But um yeah, I don't recommend it. I don't have Posca pens, you know, what, what do I look like, an art YouTuber or something? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I I um, definitely recommend the, the little plastic sleeve. If you want to make it cute. If you don't care, you know, just leave it blank. That's, that's fine, you know. It's, I think it'll motivate you, though, if it does look cute. I think it'll motivate you. Oh, and you wouldn't, oh, you know it would be cool? You wouldn't even need to do a little illustration. You could make a collage. Huh? That would be cool. Uh, just uh, like a collage of different foods. Um, you could print them out or, you know, maybe find like a cookbook or something, like an old cookbook, and I don't know, put some, get some pictures from that, you know? Tear out, you could put out the pages and... Uh, put them in the sleeves too you know your favorite ones you don't have to shuffle through a million ridiculous recipes that you're not going to use that's the best thing about this book too is like these are actually recipes that you like that you want to remember so and even if you know the recipe by heart it's just good to have it written down because you might forget and you might be like oh yeah I, I used to make that all the time and I just haven't made it in a while so it's just a good refresher um, a good reminder um, you know and I do plan on going back into mine and adding um, pictures uh, that I'm gonna print out because I just feel like that would help me out a lot to organize this thing and um, I even have screenshots from YouTube videos because a lot of the recipes I got are from like those YouTube videos. Like, you know, I don't know if you guys have seen like uh, there's so much stuff on the cooking side of YouTube, especially with the the budget friendly meals, those kind of things. It's always like a mom that's like, oh, we're really going to do this for you know, $10 or something. And I, I write all those down. I, there's, there's some really good ones. 
Um, so I wanted to take some screenshots of what the food is supposed to look like and I'm going to print them out and add them with the recipes. Oh, and another tip I have, um, if you have a recipe that's something you make a lot that you just sort of make, um, depending on what you have, it's good to write down the different ratios of stuff. So I'll show you guys. Um, I have like, I make banana bread or banana muffins a lot because, you know, if we have one extra banana or two extra bananas or three extra bananas, you know, that you get a little soft before we eat them. I don't like to waste them. So I have the different ratios written down uh, from like one to four bananas so that I don't waste my bananas. So it's just stuff like that. You know, you can just use this to customize your lifestyle, you know, the stuff that you make or don't make, or maybe you may have stuff you want to make, you know? Oh, and another tip, um, somewhat related. Uh, I also keep a little binder for local places to eat. So uh, a binder with the clear pockets, but I'll just shove the menus in there. Um, it's not super efficient because uh, sometimes like they, they don't really fit like some of the menus um, are not a full page. So you need to take them out of the sleeve anyway to look at it. But yeah, keep local you know, menus from your local area of different places to try, you know, so you don't have to rely on food chains all the time if you want to eat out. Um, and maybe make maybe make a day of it. Go out, get a bajillion menus and, you know, keep a little binder of it um, so you can try new places and new things. Um, yeah, here is the finished product. I used a lot of inspiration for, um, um, I kind of based the guy on Little Teeny Super Guy from Sesame Street. I wanted it to have like a vintage -y feel for the character. So that's why I just kept like a muted color palette and um, yeah, I kind of winged it with the, the border. I just wanted to shish it up a bit. Um, and here I am just kind of flipping through, showing you guys like the index cards. I kind of left space there that I could, I could add some pictures in if I printed them out kind of tiny and maybe, you know, that'd be better for my printer anyway. I don't know, maybe wasting all kinds of ink and I could see the picture if it's small, but yeah, here's, here's what I was talking about before with the bananas. So I'm just showing you guys, you know, this is a uh, eight and a half and 11 by 11 page folded in half. So, um, if you got the full size one, you could just have the full size page. It would be way better, but um, most of my recipes I get on YouTube. I got on this site called Budget Bites. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, you know, eat some more bigger, healthy meals and have fun. So bye.